Hi everyone, Bizless here, and today we will be installing another free plugin for your guitar, and we will be testing it in Ableton Live to see how it works, how it sounds, and this time it will be Guitar Rig 6 Player from Native Instruments. I'm also very curious on how does it sound, so we are in for a treat. Let's go. Okay, so this is the Native Instruments website. We're gonna go here to the products. Free ones. And here we have Guitar Rig 6 Player. This is free. It's a free download with complete start. So in order for that to download it, you will need to install the Native Access app, which is very simple to install. You just need an account on their website and you just download that app and I'll show you anyway. So let's click on free download with complete start. Get complete start for free. If you have an account, just log in here to get complete start. If you don't have an account, they will guide you how to create accounts. I have complete start application, so I'll just click get complete start anyway. And then I log into that and download the app. Okay, so let's log in. Then what you want to do is to click get complete start and they will add it to your account. So this is basically license for not only the Guitar Rig 6, but some other nice plugins that you can actually use. Once you click get complete start, it will give you an options to download it either for Mac or for Windows. I'm gonna download it for Mac. And then while you download it, you can just install it. And that's how it's gonna look like when you finish installing it. Native access, it will be looking for some updates, obviously. Okay, we are in the native access app. That's how it looks like. And basically you want to search for Guitar Rig 6 Player. Oh, I'm looking in installed product, not installed. I have Guitar Rig 6 Player, there it is. It is in the not installed section. That's the Guitar Rig 6 Player. Let's click on install. Downloading. I presume that's gonna take a while. It's one gigabyte, so yeah, a couple minutes. While we wait until it downloads, consider subscribing and hitting the like button, that helps a lot. Okay, it's almost installed, just a few more seconds. Yes, installed, okay. Now, what else can come with the native access? So if you didn't have that before, it's actually worth checking out, because I already have it installed, but what we have here is some instruments like Ethereal Earth, Kinetic Treats, and Hybrid Keys. These are uh, free, like a demo kind of versions with just a few presets, but uh, some once in a while native access will release like a full version. This TRK01 is actually a nice uh, bass synth. Anyway, okay, so this is installed. I think we can close the native access now. And we are in Ableton. So we can find that in audio units. So it's audio units, native instruments, and we have guitar, six, FX, I guess. Let's try this one. Yep, I guess there we go. Import complete. Okay. Okay, so do I double click? Yes, I need to double click. That's fun. <laughs> anyway. Okay, but that makes my head hurt a bit. Uh, air verb. Good for chords. Uh, let's find something interesting. We have around 51 presets here. That's cool. Okay, quick one. How to make your own presets? You will just basically click first one, shift the last one, then right click, delete everything, and then in components you have jump. That's the amplifier. It already comes with Cabinet Pro, so you can use that. It sounds 
good already. And then you will just add some effects. You can either the here twin delay. That's basically a delay. Let's drop it here before the amp and then that's a delay. There's a screamer, that's a distortion. Or you can just basically go to here and see like modulation. We have flanger, chorus, that's the flanger. Chorus. Pitch mod. That's getting loud anyway, but uh, what else we can do? We can put dynamics. Tube compressor, and then we can also add a delay. Delay man. That's too much delay, basically, but anyway, works. That's how you create your presets and just play along with it. But I'm gonna stick on to the original pre made presets. <laughs> Straight for metal. Sounds cool. I would add a reverb to that. Let's find the reverb, studio reverb. Not too bad. Okay, let's not check all the presets. There's 51 of them, so actually quite a lot. Okay, so actually it does have a little bit more uh, kind of stun boxes or effects in it, though it only has one amp, but it sounds really good, nothing to complain about. Uh, I would need a little bit more time to, to actually test it out properly and to hear the difference between this and the amplitude that we tested last time link here so you can check the test of the amplitude well it's also a good option to consider downloading especially that it's for free and it comes with some other bundled software good for music creators i guess uh till the end of uh june there is a special offer 50 percent off the guitar rig 6 pro okay guys thanks so much for watching i will post all the links in the description box down below of course subscribe if you aren't already hit the like button if you ever be struggling with uh, plugging in your guitar and setting up all the levels properly so you don't get any clipping and really nice guitar sound, click the link here and I will guide you to the video about how easy it is to set up everything. See you guys in the next video. Cheers!